Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hafiz. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install the Game Boy Advance emulator on the R4 card so you can play on your Nintendo DS. If you are new to the channel, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more video like this. The Game Boy Advance is one of my favorite gaming consoles. The GPA have some of the best game library from various genres. In 2004, 4 years after the Game Boy Advance was launched, Nintendo released the Nintendo DS which was still compatible to play the Game Boy Advance cartridges. It has a much better screen as compared to Game Boy Advance and due to its design, they are much more comfortable to play on. In 2006, Nintendo released the revised version of the Nintendo DS called the Nintendo DS Lite. The DS DS Lite is a smaller version of the DS and still is able to play physical Game Boy cartridges and in my opinion has one of the best screen of that time. This was also the last model that was released to be compatible with the Game Boy Advance cartridges. From 2006 onwards, starting with the DSi, if you want to play your Game Boy Advance games on your new Nintendo hardware, you will need to purchase them from the Nintendo eStore or modify your console to run these games from the SD card. Alternatively, you can use the R4 card to run these games. In this video, I will show you how you can run your Game Boy Advance games using an R4 card without modding your Nintendo console. This method will work for DSi, 2DS, 3DS, new 3DS and it will also work for the DS and DS Lite as an alternative to run Game Boy Advance games using the DS card slot. Alright, for this method, you will need an R4 Gold card with an SD card. I would recommend getting between 8 to 64 GB SD card, making sure that this SD card is formatted to FAT32. A 32 GB SD card would be able to fit about a 1000 GBA game. Check out the link in the description to see how you can set up your R4 Gold card. We also managed to debug the myth about the time bomb on the R4 card. Alright, use the first link in the description to download the R4 GBA4 NDS. This will be in zip format so you will need to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAW. Alright, let's start by inserting the SD card into the computer. My SD card is G Drive but yours could be different. I've labeled my SD card subscribe just to remind you to subscribe to the channel for more video like this. Next, we will need to unzip the R4 GBA for NDS that we have just downloaded. Here, I'm using WinRAW but you can use 7-zip as well. Select everything that is inside the zip folder and paste it onto the root of your SD card. Let it copy everything. Here, we have YS Menu which is the homebrew launcher app that allows you to run homebrew application using the R4 card. The TT Menu folder is the YS data file. Try not to edit anything from here. The emulator folder will be where we will place the emulators. For the Game Boy Advance, we use the Game Boy Runner 2 emulator. The GBA folder will be where we will place the Game Boy Advance ROMs. I've included two Pokemon ROM hacks for you to play around with. ROMs are digital copy of your games. Game Boy Advance ROMs will use the .gba format. ROMs can be obtained by extracting it from the original cartridge using a cartridge dumper. Alternatively, you can download them online. I can't tell you where to get your ROMs from but you can easily find them by googling .gba ROMs. Archive.org is also another good place for you to search. Here I have some Game Boy Advance ROM which I've extracted using the Ben Van Joey Jr. dumper. Copy the ROMs and paste it onto the GBA folder in the SD card. Once you are done, safely eject your SD card from the computer. Insert the SD card into the R4 card, making sure that you have pushed the SD card all the way in. Here I'm using an unmodded Japanese 3DS which is not able to play Game Boy Advance physical cartridges. Put the R4 card into the 3DS. Boot up the 3DS. This 3DS is region and language lock but using an R4 card you can bypass the lock. Run the R4 cartridge by pressing A. The R4 menu will load. Next, enter the game section by pressing A. Scroll to YS menu and press A to load. Now that we are in YS menu, scroll to emulator and press A. Select the GBA Runner 2 to load the Game Boy Advance emulator. Give it some time to load. The emulator will scan the SD card for Game Boy Advance ROMs. Next, select the game that you want to play, press A to load the game. Let's run my favorite Game Boy Advance game, Metroid Zero Mission, which was released in 2004. The game runs smoothly and the sound is in sync. It is the same as running it on original hardware. Let's take a look at the emulation setting and configuration. Tap the bottom screen to activate the emulation menu. Now press the R trigger to open up the setting menu. Here you can toggle the emulation setting, display setting and control setting accordingly. Once you are done making the changes, always restart your emulator. 
To load a new game, select Quit to ROM's browser. Select the game that you want to play and press A to load the game. Let's load the Gunstar Superhero which was released in 2005. This is the sequel to the Gunstar Heroes which was released on the Mega Drive and Game Gear in the early 90s. To display on the bottom screen, go into the menu again by tapping the bottom screen. Now press R trigger to go into the settings. Go to display settings, scroll down to display game on the bottom screen. Now press A to select next, restart the game. Once it's booted, the game will now be played on the bottom screen. Another Game Boy Advance game that you definitely need to check out is the Sigma Star, released in 2005 by Way Forward, which is the same creator as the Shantae series. It is an action shooting adventure game with nice visual and soundtrack, it's definitely worth playing. And there you go guys, that's how you play your Game Boy Advance game using the R4 card for the 3DS. If you have enjoyed this video, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. With that, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.